So here we go, you can even calculate the Ekman pumping or the wind stress curve in the oceans. And you can create an annual mean distribution of Ekman pumping. And what's shown here are regions where you have a positive number. And positive numbers here is in the Antarctic circumpolar current region. You can see that there is a positive numbers all around, all along the Southern Ocean. And you can identify a regions where you have a negative number, and negative number means a downward or downward moved uh, um, density surface. And these are these gr uh, green regions. Yeah, the green region here, green regions here. And these are actually what we call the subtropical gyres, the green region. Okay? So this is the component of the wind forcing that actually through Ekman layers shapes the structure of the internal density field in the ocean in the upper two kilometers of the water column. And if, if, if the large scale wind stress curl changes, then it's the density field that actually adjusts to this change. 